Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here, my name's Andrea and I make adult uh, colouring videos. Um, this is a series I do every now and again called uh, First Impressions, where I take a new item I've got into my collection of art supplies and we swatch them together and we have a look to see what they're doing. Uh, so, first of all, if, you're a, if you've been here before and you're a subscriber, thank you, I appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber and if you like this, please consider subscribing. It really helps. So today we're going to be looking at the Art Art X acrylic marker set, 32 colours, 1.9 fine tip and 3.2 meter brush tip, millimeter brush tip. I have seen people colour entire pages with these. Just driving me up the wall. So inside you do have a thank you card, which I won't keep, and a little card here where they've swatched all the colours and they've got the numbers and what they should look like. So obviously there are two trays, this is the top one oh, and it just lifts out and I can't get it out but it does oh, and they go everywhere and they're like that so let's put those back in, doesn't matter what order they're in because we'll do it in the order they're on the swatch chart. So we'll just pull out this blue one and we'll have a look, let me take them out of the way just because the blue looks like a nice colour, Jennifer is not having these because she nicks all the blues. So this is the brush, very nice brush. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. So put that back on. And this is the fine tip. So we'll get myself a swatch. Oh, dear me, already had enough. Some swatch pages. Let it uh, hopefully. We'll start with the first one which is lemon yellow and we will go in order because they're A1, A3, A5, A7 and so on. So it's going to take me a while to find out which one is which I think. Let's have a look. FA3 which is canary so it's got to be this one. So this is A1 just write it out here. I think I'll just go and write out the things and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've now written all the numbers down. I should have done that before I even started. And sorted all the colours into this watch order. Well, that looks better. So let's have a look. Lemon yellow. We'll use the brush, I think, first to see what that's like. Oh no, that's the normal tip. <laughs> let's use the brush and zoom in. That's as far as I'll go. Right, okay. Oh, that is nice. I know they're acrylic, but oh, I can see why people use them. Look how beautiful that colour is. Sorry if you can hear Jennifer and, and Paul downstairs. Just to sorting out the TV. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, I'm going to use these. I am going to use these. Oh, not ending, are you? This is canary yellow. never thought I needed these in my life. I know they do a pastel set as well. So I will be looking to order those when I get my uh, money through from YouTube. Hopefully. Oh, these are absolutely, this one's called Mum Pink. This next one, if I can get it out, let's have a look. Oh, I do like these. Oh, look at that, that is gorgeous colour. Now these go on so nicely. I'll try the other tip in a minute. What I'll do is I'll just put a little square like that. I'll sort of like that. And then we'll go in with the, the other tip. I'm liking these so far. Just, oh yeah, that's going to be alright for when you're doing smaller spaces. Very nice. Light pink is next. Oops, upside down. In the right way around. I love the colours. I, I like the fact that they're brush markers. They are absolutely beautiful. I will be keeping these away from Jennifer. I don't want her using them. She wrecks brush tips. Oh, 
Oh, I'll be looking for more of these. Now, I don't, don't like the way I've done the mum, mum pink. I think, or oh, light pink rather, we need a bit more in there. That's it, better. I do like these. So there's an orange next, let's put them in right. Apricot. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Oh wow. I can see me using these in some books for patterns and certain detailing. I don't know what she's doing, don't ask. Our next one is carrot orange. I think I've got them all mixed up now. That's that's that one mixed because of the way I'm picking them up. That's carrot orange, isn't it? Yeah, 21. Oh, I love that orange. That is absolutely gorgeous. Don't they look good? Next one is the French Vermilion. Let's pull this up. I mean, the orange one looks very red, but it is orange. I'm very impressed with these so far. I don't even need to colour a page to know I'm quite impressed with these. Whether you use them for backgrounds or pictures or patterns or whatever, I know I will be. I've got an idea what I want to use them in. And they don't bleed through because they're acrylic paint pens, marker pens. That's, oh. Why did somebody tell me that I needed these in my life? Pure red. Red is my absolute favourite colour and always has been. And that is a very nice red. I might get out, I mean I'm trying to do mostly Halloween pictures but I do have Coloropoly prompts. And I might use these in a pattern but just get out one of my Camellia books. And you know, use it in one of those. That is such a nice red. This one is wine red. Let's see what this one's like. Ooh, that is a very dark red. That does look like a glass of wine, doesn't it? I don't drink red wine. It makes me wheeze. Not good for asthmatics. Look at that. What a gorgeous colour. Ooh, greens next. If it's not greens, if it's not red, it's greens and then blues. I love all the colours. This one is spring green. <gasps> These colours are amazing. Absolutely stunning. I love them. Yeah. This one is uh, meadow green. So I'm trying not to put my hand in them because obviously they're going to be wet for a while. But it looks like they dry quite quickly. <gasps> Look at that. That is gorgeous. That red's still wet. But these ones here are already dry. Which means if you wanted to, you could go over, put another coat on. There we go. That green's beautiful. Verdant green. Oh, I am liking these. Yeah. I mean, being left-handed, how quickly they dry is very important. Because of um, yeah, oh, I am liking these colours. You know, putting your hand in them when you you come in. So I'm gonna have to change the battery in a minute, but that's okay. Is this Pomona Pomona green? I like that green actually. Yeah, that's a nice green as well. Very nice green. I will definitely colour a picture in uh, using these this month and then I can show it to you in my completed pages. This one is olive, oh, a nice green.
Now how well do they match their caps? It's not far off actually, is it? Let's just uh, try the last one, which is supposed to be emerald green. And I'll change the battery before we know doing that last. To me that's not very green, it's more of a, a turquoise colour. Maybe, it'll, maybe it'll, yeah, it looks more turquoise on the camera as well, but that's okay. Oh, I'm going to have to colour with this, definitely soon. A bit of paint on me now, so I have got a little bit off of one of these. So that is the first tray. So I'm going to change the battery and then we'll do the second. Okay, so we've done the first tray, so I'm going to go to the second tray, which is the blues, browns and greys. Although there is a red and a purple first. So this one is called Rose Red, so why it's not in with the reds, I don't know, but it's just the way that they've done it. I'll just get it out. There we are. Let's have a look. Oops. Oh, that is such a nice colour. It's a beautiful, bright, pinky red. Oh, I love it. That is so nice. These are not going to last long. I've got a feeling I'm going to really use these to death because I really like them. Violet blue. Oh, that is a gorgeous violet. You know, I rarely use my swatches when I'm actually colouring, but I do like to have a look to see what they look like. Sometimes I will for a while, so I get used to the colours. Next one is bright blue. I mean, I'm looking forward to these blues. Oh wow, look at that, that is a nice colour. That green, look, that one I said looks turquoise, looks a bit more green now, but it's still very bluey green, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Next one is light blue. Let's get this up here. Oh, I'm enjoying it, that is so nice. I will admit I'm very impressed with these Artex pens. That's the first Artex pro product I've bought. I saw them on someone else's channel. I thought they look really nice. I want to try them. Next one is Sky Blue. And I'm glad I got them. And it makes me want to try more of their products. So that's good for you because it means you get more of these um, swatching videos where I buy things and, and you don't have to. But these are, I will be colouring with these. I've got a Camellia Angel Cove, a simple pattern book, a simple mandala book. I haven't coloured in yet, so I might do one using these just to have a play. And if I do, I'll let, let you know at the end of the month. A dark blue. This is the one that Jennifer would want to knit because she loves blue. She does use all the colours now, but she's still mad for blue. Yeah, I like these. Yeah. The next one is Prussian blue. Oh, oh loving these colours. And look how easily they lay down. I know it's um, a, a marker, paint marker. But, you know, kind of like a Posca, but not as expensive. And I love my Poscas when I even remember to use them. I've got so many supplies, I just don't use it all. Looks like there's one missing there. Oh, it's just gone. It's just done something silly. There we are, that's better. This next one is uh, golden yellow. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. Now that is a golden yellow to me. I always find that golden yellow tends to be a bit dull. But to me, that is beautiful. These colours are so vibrant, they are stunning. I will be looking at Arctic's acrylic markers for different colours soon, I think. Pop that one out of the way and that can dry before we file it in our swatch folder. Get another page. This one is now a golden brown. It says brow, but it's actually brown. This is for my pen. I missed the end. Here's me sniffling, I'm feeling 100%, ooh, that's a, that's a good brown. 
That is a golden brown. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. Nice. These ones I think are the wrong order because these are coffee brown and light coffee brown and they are out of number sequence. I think it's the way they did it, so it doesn't matter. So this is coffee. That's a very pale coffee. That's somebody who has a, a fair bit of milk in. But oh, it's, it's still a nice, I like the colour. I always find sometimes you get a lot of very dark browns and this one is now the light coffee. Oh, that is stunning. That's a flesh tone for me, that is. So I now know I can use this. I just wanted a straight colour of a picture of a person or a gnome. No, I, I like that. That is a lovely colour. Next is nut. Oops. What number is it? A15? 15? 15? 115? Yeah. That's right now. Okay, so this is nut brown. Oh yes. Very full um I'm thinking um acorns. Yeah, very acorn colour. Nice. I like these earth tones, they're very nice. Oh Jen. Just a second. Next one is a dark brown. That's a nice brown. Oh, my least favourite colour is this brown, but I thought these browns are really nice. Wow. Silver grey is next. There's only a few more. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. I've had these for a while now and I've been putting it off because I've been wanting to film using them like this to swatch them with you. I wish I hadn't now. The only reason I haven't been filming is because I've been so poorly. Uh, black. It's always a black. You've always got to have a black as the most needed colour. Yes. And I know we're not going to see much of the white but we will do it just so we can see it. Oh it looks like they're reading. It's the black. And finally, I put the black back before getting the white out because that was silly of me. It's easier if you take one out. <laughs> I'm just mumbling to myself. And the white, which won't show up very much, but oh, it actually does a bit. Not much because obviously it's white, but for doing highlights, that's going to be nice. Yeah. So I'll just uh, zoom out and we'll have a look at them side by side. That is all the colours that I got. Um, I think it was 30 something, wasn't it? 34? I'm going to go with 34. 32. And I'm very impressed with the way they lay down. The colours are very vibrant. I love these earth tones. They're very, very nice. This golden yellow is gorgeous. I am actually going to go and colour a picture with them very, very soon. And I will make a point of marking that when I do my completed pages so that you'll You'll see it. Um, I love it. I really do like them. They weren't that expensive. I'm not sure how much they were, about 15, 16 pounds, I think. But I will leave a link, if I can find one, to them for you uh, in the um, description box below. So you can go and buy them. But if you're looking for some acrylic markers that don't break the bank, I would heartily recommend them. They are very nice. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you'll join uh, me again very, very soon for another one. Bye, everyone.